Okay, let's have some fun. Two short poems by John Betjeman on similar themes. In both cases, uh, he's noticing an unknown woman, once on a train, once in church, uh, and speculating about her. The first one, indeed, is called Thoughts in a Train. No doubt she is somebody's mistress with that Greta Garbo hair as she sits, mascara lidded, in the corner seat over there. But why, if she's somebody's mistress, is she travelling up in a third? Her luggage is leather, not plastic, her jewellery rich and absurd. Oh, I'm nobody's mistress. The jewels I wear, you see, were, like this leather luggage, a present from mummy to me. If you want to get on with the government, you've got to be like it, I've heard. So I booked my suite in the Ritz Hotel, and I'm travelling up in a third. And the second one is called Lenten Thoughts of a High Anglican. Isn't she lovely, the mistress, with her wide apart grey-green eyes, the droop of her lips, and when she smiles, her glance of amused surprise. How nonchalantly she wears her clothes, how expensive they are as well. And the sound of her voice is as soft and deep as the Christchurch tenor bell. But why do I call her the mistress, who know not her way of life? Because she has more of a cared-for air than many a legal wife. How elegantly she swings along in the vapory incense trail. The angel choir must pause in song when she kneels at the altar rail. The parson said that we shouldn't stare around when we come to church or the unknown God we are seeking may forever elude our search. But I hope the preacher will not think it unorthodox and odd if I add that I glimpse in the mistress a hint of the unknown God. <laughs>